Good freaking morning, everybody. So I'm starting off my morning off with a lot of water. So one thing that I'm trying to get better at is making sure I'm staying hydrated, making sure I'm getting enough water in. So I like to aim for about a gallon a day. And I used to drink like, you know, just fill up my cup of water, fill up my, my jug of water, fill up my water bottle, have a bottle of water. But you know, after having three or four of those, you know, in your mind, you think that you're having enough water. You're like, oh, I've had like five water bottles today. Like I'm good. It's not even close to what you should be having, especially if you're trying to aim for a gallon. So got my big water jug right here, as you can see. Um, and what I like to do, because I absolutely hate water, is I like to put electrolytes in it. So you can get any electrolytes you want. Um, this is the one that I use. This is Redmond's Real Light. I absolutely love them. My good buddy also has some really good cheap electrolytes. His brand is Santa Cruz Medicinals, and I actually do have a discount code for them as well. And I have a discount code for Redmond. So actually, that's a good topic I wanna to talk about. So I'll talk about that a little bit later, but you can go with whoever you like. You know, Redmond's Real Salt, they're good friends of mine. I love them, been using them for years. Uh, Brendan is a good, uh, good friend of mine, known him for years, and so you always wanna support good people. So um, electrolytes in the water jug starting off my day starting off my morning with a lot of water and you know we got to get back into it it's time to go do cardio Whew. okay guys so cardio is done let me turn on the light so you guys can see me there we go, got some light, Ooh, Sprite. Okay, so cardio done. And this is something that's really, really important to me, guys, because if you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, I used to be a really big advocate of doing fasted cardio. Now, that doesn't mean I'm incorporating intermittent fasting into my lifestyle. I'm just doing fasted cardio. All that means is that first thing in the morning, I get up and do cardio with no food, no coffee, no drinks, no pre-workout, no nothing, just get up, and just start doing cardio, all right? I like to aim for 30 minutes. Um, I would do that on the Stairmaster, treadmill, outside, wherever, it doesn't matter. Just do some type of faster cardio. And when I was implementing that, I was in the best shape of my life. Um, in my opinion, I think I looked great. My stamina was good. Everything, energy levels, just overall just felt great. But I got away with that. I got away from that. Um, when my sister passed away, I just couldn't get back into the groove and then the holidays hit and it got even harder to get back into it. So now I really want to start implementing it every single day. So I encourage you guys and I challenge you, if you're doing the ketogenic diet with me, do fasted cardio. Now look, not just for weight loss, but it's healthy for you and it's good for your heart, it's good for your cardio. So. Those are the main reasons why you should be doing it. And the bonus thing is, yes, it will help with weight loss. So I'm um, gonna have meal number one. I did get a new meal plan. Now, uh, my meal plan is actually not that different. It's like it's nothing crazy, um, but it's four meals a day, 50 grams of protein per meal. Got my farm eggs still right here and picked up some steak. Let me grab the steak from the fridge, guys. Got my steak right here. So steak and eggs is meal number one. You can't ask for a better meal than that, a more anabolic meal than that. That's how you should start your day. Let's go. All right, so quick and simple, easy meal. I get asked all the time, like, Logan, I don't have time to cook in the morning. What can I make? I wanna do keto. And I give them options, but the best option is always gonna be to cook your own food. And guys, this took 10 minutes. It does not take a long time to cook steak. Put your cast iron on the stove, turn it on, go brush your teeth. By the time you get back, uh, your cast iron should be hot. Throw your steak on there. Your steak takes like maybe two, three minutes, depending on how you like it. If you like it, you know, medium rare, it's not gonna take long. Two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, boom, you're done. Eggs, come on. Eggs take what, two, three minutes at the most? And you saw I just did it at the same time. So I cooked it at the same time. This took less than 10 minutes and this is a perfect way to start your morning. You're getting good fats, 
good protein, you're not spiking your blood sugar, you're keeping your body in ketosis, so you're burning body fat as fuel, you're fueling your muscles with the protein, and you're eliminating all that crap, the processed food, the Starbucks drinks, the high sugary snacks, the cereal, the granola bar, the Pop-Tart, whatever people have in the morning that is just straight crap, guys. This is how you do it. Don't tell me you have time, I promise you. You have 10 minutes. And if you're on the go, throw this in a Tupperware. Eat it on the way to work. Now be careful, okay, don't get into a wreck, or eat it when you get there. Okay, just scarf it down, chop it up, chop up the steak in little slices. There you go, guys. Quick and simple meal, 50 grams of protein, great amount of fats. I'm not spiking my blood sugar. That's gonna cause me to crash in about two hours. Okay, so it is Friday and I have a lot of boring work to do. It's gonna take a lot of my time and I'm filming today. So I said, what the heck? Why don't I just film some thoughts, whatever I'm thinking at the time while I'm doing these spreadsheets. So um, one thing I want to talk about, I talked a little bit earlier and it's about supplements. You know, when I first started in the fitness industry, guys, like when I first started my YouTube channel, when I first started Instagram, like it was everybody's dream. Like at that time, if you're in the fitness industry, it was like everyone's dream to get sponsored, right? Either by Gymshark, um, C4, whatever the, the supplement brands that were really, really popular back then, you know, that's what you wanted to do. That's how you like you legitimized yourself, right? Like, well, I'm sponsored by Gymshark or I'm sponsored by Ghost. I've seen a big change over the last couple of years and it's a good change. It, it really is a good change. And what that change is, it's all about supporting your friends. It's all about supporting people that you truly like and truly know or have a passion for, or, you know, maybe, you, you know, you never met them, but you're, you know, you believe in everything they stand for, you believe in their messaging. And it's like, I don't know, I, this is just my opinion, but it's almost like not cool to be sponsored by like the big brands now, like, or rather support another supplement company that I know it's really gonna directly impact them, right? And so um, when it comes to like supplements that I take or clothes that I wear, I really wanna support people that I truly like and that I'm friends with and that I, you know, that I believe in. And so when it comes to like supplements, like obviously I was talking to you earlier about Red Mineral, so they're actually legit, like they are massive. But when I first met them, they were small, relatively small. They just had salt. Now they have expanded to supplements and seasonings and all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, they're, and they're, they're super ultra popular, but they're good people. If you guys, I don't know for all my OG subscribers, let me know in the comments. If you remember one of my videos of me actually going to Utah, they flew me out to Utah to meet the team, spend a weekend with them. They took me skiing. I went to the, the real salt mountain. It was, it was amazing. Like they are just with me owning a company like bio coach, I want to emulate them. Like there's a lot of things that you guys don't see that they do at Redmond's Real Salt. The, the family atmosphere, the office, the vibes, the energy, it's so refreshing and it's so true and it's so real. And I remember leaving there and like, I want BioCoach to be just like them. Like what they built there, the reason why they're so successful is because of what they're doing there, right, internally. And I think that's just like so cool. And so, Going back to like companies that I want to support, like Flavor Gang. Obviously guys, you know that is Ross Flanagan's uh, supplement company. If you just see what he does on social media, you'd be like, oh, that guy's a jerk, I don't like him. He's not, he's super genuine and like, there's a lot of things that you guys don't see in the background. Um, you know, for example, with my coaching with him, it's not just about losing weight. It's not just about macros. You know, the main part was let's take care of your mental health Let's take care of your relationships with your family. Let's take care of relationships with your loved ones. And then number four is macros and losing weight. Like that's how you know you have an amazing coach when they really care about the things that matter instead of like the aesthetics, right? Because most coaches you're like, okay, I wanna lose this weight, okay, let's do this. They don't give a crap what goes on in your personal life or how it's affecting your personal life. Like in my meal plan, which I'm sure I'll show you one day, it calls for going on a date night, right? Because what a lot of people don't think about is when you're going on this weight loss journey and you start this really restrictive diet, I guess compared to what you were normally eating, it's gonna have an impact on your loved ones, right? Like, you know, what if you and your wife always went out to eat? What if you and your kids always went out to eat? But you know what, I wanna get healthy, I'm gonna stop that. It's gonna affect them, right? Like your wife's like, hey, what happened to our margaritas and, and chips and Mexican food on Saturdays? Like, what happened to that? 
and you're like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's really gonna make a big impact on y'all's relationship and y'all's vibe and y'all's energy, right? And so there has to be like this, this middle ground. There has to be some give or take. And so like in my meal plan, would I be able to fit this in, in my early days? Absolutely not. It was a total different mindset. And for all the pros that it did, it did have cons, right? Relationship, me and Crystal's relationship definitely um, took a step back when I was all in on fitness, all in on losing weight, all in on healthy food. I mean, she was eating dinner by herself. My kids are eating dinner separate from their dads because from their dad, dads, dad, they only have one dad, <laughs> um, from their dad because I had different times that I was gonna eat, I had different food that I was gonna eat. And a lot of times you don't think about that, I don't think about that. You're just so doubting, you're so focused on losing weight and getting in shape that you really need to think about how it impacts the other, your loved ones and how can you incorporate them and still have a healthy lifestyle. And so with my meal plan now, where I'm at today, my relationship with food, my relationship with my body, my body dysmorphia, um, I'm able to do that. I'm able to incorporate a date night once a week and still, you know, still hold on to those things that me and my wife love to do going out, you know, getting out of the house, having my mom watch the girls and just being young and, and, and having that date night lifestyle, right? And so I'm able to still do that. And I think that's something that's really, really cool. And it's something that I really want you to think about. If you're doing this ketogenic diet with me, I'm not saying that you have to go have a cheat meal. Find a way, find a, find a place that maybe you and your wife like, maybe you and your girlfriend, maybe you and your fiance, or your, your kids that they love too, but maybe you can still have your healthy meal, still have your ketogenic meal or whatever, and still incorporate that time, those memories, that bonding that you can still incorporate and still have that, you know, still follow your fitness lifestyle. So I know I'm going on a complete tangent. I definitely wasn't gonna go into this route, but whatever, you turn the camera on, I'm just gonna speak from the heart. And so I think that's so important to do. And next up, I wanna talk about a pre-workout, and this is by True Endurance. This is by a guy named Jonathan Shane. If you follow me, you probably know him. His name is The Keto Road. Just such an amazing guy, right? And I know a lot of people probably have never heard of this brand. And, and it doesn't matter. If I show them on Instagram, people are like, I've never heard of them. It's not about if you heard of them. It's about the person behind this brand. It's about the guy and what he believes in and his stance on life and his just his overall good vibes and how he truly wants to help people and he has a passion for helping people. And matter of fact, this is a really awesome pre-workout. When I take this, I'm telling you guys, the pump is real. It's absolutely insane. And I just, I back him. I believe in him and I, and it's a small business. It's a small supplement company. I want to help him. And so, um, same thing, you know, for flavor gang, when it first started, I was his first guy promoting this. Now he's like, it's blown up. It's massive. Flavor gang is huge. It's, 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 it's bigger than he could have ever imagined. I want Jonathan to get there when it comes to his true endurance. Same thing for Brendan. When I met Brendan, he was sending, he was actually sending me CBD stuff. And I know you can't say that. Hopefully I don't get this, this video uh, flagged because you're, you're not allowed to say that on social media and, and, and they really have blocked talking about that. But now he has protein, he has electrolytes, he has um, seasoning. And, and Brendan is killing it on social media. I mean, he's just, Santa Cruz Medicinals is his uh, company and it's just absolutely kidding. I'm so proud of him, man. He's just absolutely just doing what he loves and, it, and it's awesome. And I wanna support people like that, all right? We wanna support people that truly have a passion. It's not about going after the big brands and the big supplement companies and the big clothing companies. It's all about this friendship and it's all about supporting people you truly, genuinely want to support, care about, and wanna make an impact on their life. Because when you help me, when like you buy a Flavor Gang and use my code or you know Santa Cruz Medicinals or True Endurance, um, you directly impact my life and my daughter's lives. And so, you know, a lot of you always love when I bring my daughters on, my family on, you're like, oh, I absolutely love them. It's like, I, great, I love that you love them. And and I love that you, you know, use my codes. It directly impacts them. It truly means a lot to me. So it's just something that I kind of want to talk about because I think it's it's so funny, like, the, the mindset when I first started, it's like, oh, I just want to be sponsored by Gymshark. Oh, I just want to be sponsored by Cellicore. If I could be sponsored by those brands, it'll make my day. I'll be the, I, that's all I ever asked. And now it's like, if they were to come to me, I'd be like, no, like, absolutely not. It's, it's just, I want to support people that are really, it's really going to impact their lives and people that I genuinely know and believe in. Um, 
Same thing for BioCoach, guys. Like when you guys support BioCoach, you know that's my that's my company, and what we're doing now and where we first started is a complete 180. Complete 180. So as you guys know, you, we used to be called Keto Coach. Now we're called Bio Coach, and so it's just one of those things where like you keep evolving, you keep pushing forward. You're gonna hit bumps on the road, but you never stop. You keep pushing forward, and so um, anytime you guys support Bio Coach, that is a huge, huge impact on my life, and I just want to say thank you. So, anyways, guys, I need to get back to these reports. I thought I was gonna be able to do these reports and talk. Definitely can't do that, especially when I really get into my thoughts. I have to stop. So um, I got so many more to do. Okay guys, so now it's time for meal number two. And I know this is gonna be a really boring meal to a lot of people, but hey, it gets the job done. So let me get my teaspoon measurement right here. So what we have is green beans and seven ounces of chicken breast, and it calls for ghee, but I don't have any ghee. So, uh, and ghee is just gonna be the fat. So I have some olive oil right here. So I'm just gonna pour some of this over the green beans, over the chicken like so. And then I'm gonna get a half teaspoon of salt and then just put it all over my food because salt's gonna be really important when you're doing the ketogenic diet because you're not eating carbs and so you need to replenish yourself, you need to be hydrated, and you need to make sure you get enough salt. So this is meal number two right here. Again, 50 grams of protein, we got healthy fats and we got a little bit of carbs from the green beans. So today's actually a really busy day. I got my mom about to walk in right now and bring in all this stuff into our house because tomorrow is my dad's birthday. My dad is turning 60, guys. Man, it's crazy. Like, I have so much I wanna talk about. I know I'd make this video way too long if I wanted to share the thoughts that I, uh, have going on but so yeah like my mom and dad are the absolute best parents anybody could ever ask for um i have so many memories of my dad so many memories of my mom when i was small um just hanging out with them doing things them obviously loving me and um it's wild to see my dad because i at 60 because my vision of my dad how i perceive him is always the same thing and that's every day after school waiting for my dad to get home and him getting off work he'd be in his work uniform would always be happy always be excited to come home and see his kids and i remember just waiting at the door and our door at my parents house like we had our main door but then we had like the glass cover or like the glass door and so we'd always leave our door open but the glass door would be closed so you could always look outside and i just always remember just always like waiting at 4 30 like oh when's dad come home when's dad come home just like looking down the street and just seeing him like you know seeing his, his truck come down the road and just always just being so excited to see him. And then my dad, like obviously he was always so young. He has great genetics, never, never has never smoked, has never drank in his life. Uh, and just overall just looks great for his age. And so um, I always remember my dad always just being so young and fit. And um, you know, obviously like guys, like as you know, years go by, like, you know, you start seeing your dad get a little bit older, start seeing the gray hair, start seeing the wrinkles. And it's like, man, it just makes you appreciate time so much more. And then especially after my sister passing away, I've never have thought more about time, the past. And I know like the future and the past are like the greatest robbers of current time, but it's hard for me to not think about the future and, and, remember, and remember the past and it makes me sad. Either way, like I think about the, the future, it makes me sad. I think about the past, it makes me sad. Uh, I, I say the good old times, right? Like the good old days and I think about times where my sister was still alive and I think about the, then I think about the future. I'm like, oh man, how's life gonna be without my parents? How's life gonna be like this? And I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm just stressing myself out. I'm just worrying about things I can't control. And I think it all started when my sister passed away because I never used to have thoughts like that. I would never think about that. And a lot of these thoughts always come at night, like right before I'm about to go to bed or I'm trying to go to sleep. I'm thinking about the past and, and thinking about the future. And I'm like, what am I doing? I'm just worrying myself. I'm just keeping myself up. And um, 
it's one of those things where like I need to take a step back and like just enjoy the moments, enjoy this time. So my entire family will be here tomorrow for my dad's surprise. We're having a surprise birthday and it's an 80s theme because my dad's obviously an 80s guy. I have so many stories about my dad, him always talking about the 80s and he was thinking he was from Miami Vice, you know, he's thinking he's Tom Cruise uh, from um, Maverick. He would drive a motorcycle when he was young. Like I have so many just amazing memories of my dad and so um it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a great freaking weekend a great time tomorrow to spend time with my family and have the surprise birthday and have all his friends and his co-workers and family members and uh, it's just gonna be a great day and i know my dad watches all my videos my dad again like my dad and my sister are number one supporters i know he's probably watching this video so dad i love you with all my heart i strive to make you proud i make my life is dedicated to making you proud, making my parents proud, and you are the best father I could have ever asked for. And I I wanted, if I could just be half the man you are when it's all said and done, um, I would be happy. So happy 60th birthday. I absolutely love you and I hope to spend many, many more years with you. All right, so Lolo is all ready for the 80s party. Look at you. And Mina, uh, Mina doesn't have her full costume on, but she's gonna be like aerobic. So she's got like all the sweatbands. Okay, she's gonna greet herself. Let me see Lolo. You got the fanny pack, you got the microphone, you go girl. I'm gonna get my skates. All right, and there is Mina's aerobic. Hi, yeah, yeah, aerobic exercise. You go girl. <laughs> You're like that one guy. I forgot his name. Whoa, whoa. Dad, whoa, whoa, easy girl. Whoa. Are those push ups? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So good, my love. We do those at gymnastics. At gymnastics? You go, girl. Woo! Look at Lola. Give him the pose, Lola. Let me see. Woo, you gotta work at Sonic, girl? <laughs> Okay, so today is Saturday morning and it is the big day for my dad's 60th birthday. I wanna show you how everything looks because if you guys have been following me, you guys need to follow me on Instagram because I'm always storing uh, every single party. My mom, she needs to be a party like coordinator, a party planner, a party decorator because whenever we have parties, she goes completely off. If you guys remember our Willy Wonka party for my daughter, uh, any celebration we have, we always go off. So. Since this is an 80s theme, let's walk in and let me show you how everything looks. All right, so when you walk in, we got all the little streamers walking in. What's up, girls? And then as people walk in, we got the 80s theme right there. So uh, these are actually for adults. So these are adult goodie bags, and they're gonna have like a shot of vodka in there. Not vodka, but like little like, um, little things of uh, liquor whatever and some other stuff we got the koozies all right here we got some beads and waters and then we got my dad's little picture uh where everybody can take pictures the big six O right there or the fanny packs so everyone's gonna sit here so where everybody can sit and then we got the i love the 80s and then of course my mom always has to do the cupcakes the cake, MTV, that's so awesome. And then we do have fanny packs for everybody to rock. So everybody can walk in and get their fanny packs. And then this is the adult um, goodie bags that we're gonna have filled with really good stuff. Yes, there'll be a kid goodie bag, that's fine. All right, girls, back up from the cake. Back up, back up, I see the cake shaking. So there you go, guys. That is gonna be my dad's surprise 60th birthday theme. Uh, oh, Daddy. I didn't do that. <laughs> All right, we got a backup. We got a backup. Grandma's gonna freak out. All right, guys. So we'll see you on the next video. I absolutely love you. And uh, everybody, comment down below. Happy birthday to my dad, Vincent Senior. I love you guys. Peace. <laughs>